That's right. Go away. Go away. This is another episode of Todd's Tips. Tits. 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 Okay, now listen. The Road Jukebox. Somebody asked me, how do you do? put it on free play? So I said, you know what? I'm going to make a video. And I also did a printout. If when you when the battery goes dead on a road jukebox made an R90 an R89 to R94, okay, this is how to do it. A child could do it. A child could do it. Hi, did you like that Should clip? I stuck that clip in. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Put okay, a timer watch. up in the corner. Lift up. Timer in the corner. Go. Lift up the top. Okay. Turn the switch to service. Lower the lid, but do not shut it, because then it'll kick it right back out of service, okay? Hold the popular button in and type in zero, zero, zero. Do you see that funny symbol? <laughs> he, he, he. Okay, now, free play is 27, so you hit 27. You see it says zero, that means it's coin up. All you have to do is punch in 255, and then hit popular to lock it in. It, it locked in and moved to 28. Now the next one, what's the next one, Kurt? 32. 32 is the automatic play. Now I want to show you something. Right now, every 20 minutes that nobody goes near the jukebox, it will automatically pick one of these songs out, and it's usually the flip side, to get interest in the jukity box. Kurt, you just got them dizzy. Sorry. Okay, all you have to do is make that zero. And hit popular. Done. Popular? And then, popular, and then, all you do is lower the jukebox like this. You're done. Now, all the jukeboxes come up with that error when you first turn it on. It has nothing to worry about. It's got something to do with the bill acceptor or nonsense like that. So don't go into a panic when it says it. See when it says 255? That means it's on free play. 255 is Roe's code. Now, we don't know why Roe jukebox chose that number. Who, who will never know? I want to show you, though, the reason this comes off of free play is because there's a battery in here that you have to change. Here, that went on. That's a brand new piston holder that HAP controls cells. Now I just checked, they're out of stock. It's okay. You know, there we go. That's kind of scary. People say they want to know why. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Yes, you gotta be careful that one of these doesn't come bashing you in the skull. That's right. I, I punched a hole up there once. So you snap one of these and you can buy them brand new from Half Controls, okay? Mm. I just checked their inventory. They said they're out of stock until February 17th. But it's Jukebox Piston Holder, okay? See these pistons? They do not hold the lid up. They never did, they never will. But the lid is incredibly heavy, and the pistons reduce the weight. Now, some people use a pool stick to hold it up, but you could buy these brand new, and the plastic's fresh. It snaps in real tight. Now, with that in, I turn the jukebox off. See the switch? Because I'm going to show you why the jukebox comes off in free play. I left this loose so you can see. I loosen these two screws. This pops off. This slides open like so, okay, this flips open, board comes out. Oh, Frank! Anyway, it's supposed to be cut. <clears throat> we changed cameramen. <laughs> right, let me do you, my cameraman. I'll leave it, I'll leave it, I'll leave it. Kurt had to go. I gotta take a picture of my brother's house. <sighs> He's My always... mom needs candy and cigarettes. Oh. All right, look. Let me show you the board. Actually, come over to the light. Oh, Frank, we'll use your light. Oh, goody. The original battery is soldered in. The new battery is a battery holder that we purchased, installed in the same two places, those two holes. And we have a 2032. A 2032 is the same battery that's in your thing that opens up your car door. Common battery, common holder. Now it can be changed. So you will have to unsolder the old battery, put the new one in. Now 
lays in like that. This lays in like that. See, they made this with really easy, fast repairs. By the way, while you have this open, you need to reflow solder on all the header pins. They're all ice cold. We already did that. That's why it has our sticker of approval. Our sticker of quality, Frank. Ah! A thumbs down. <laughs> okay. Now, once again, you want to make sure all your plugs are in right. Obviously, it doesn't <coughs> use this one. This one, see, it says the data and video. They actually had this. They were going to set this jukebox up so it would play cassette tapes, uh, VHS, Betamax tapes. That's what it was. They were gonna. They did that. They had. They actually had video jukeboxes, if you can believe that. There were two separate Beta tapes, Betamax tape machines in there, and they had the same tape in them. While one was rewinding and finding the next song, the other one was playing the song. So this way, people could preload it. I wish. I, I haven't seen any of those jukeboxes in ages, Frank. Right? One will get traded in tomorrow. Yeah, that's a good be. We get. And once again, even though I left the switch in the off position. And everything is dead electronic wise when I close it. Our R01 message, just like before, comes up and bang, look at that. I hope you learned something. And now we gotta figure out where Kurt is. Good night.